hello students today let us understand how to calculate current ratio and quick ratio here they have given a balance sheet and uh, assets and liabilities information so by using that we need to calculate current ratio and quick ratio which is very much important for six marks so here the following is the balance sheet of kalyani Elec electric company as on 31st 30th june 2014 and they have given assets which includes fixed assets and current assets and they have given liabilities which includes share capital and non-current liabilities and current liabilities so by using this we need to calculate current ratio and quick ratio so to calculate current ratio the information required is the total current assets and total current liabilities of the company because the formula is current assets divided by current liabilities so we need to find out which are the current assets of the company and which are the current liabilities of the company here they have given land and building land and building is a non-current asset it is not required for the calculation of current ratio then plant and machinery is given it is also a non-current asset it is not required for the calculation short term investment is given so in since investment is short term it is current assets so we we require this then stock in trade is given stock in trade is nothing but inventory inventory is a current asset we require this for the calculation purpose then they have given debtors yes debtor is required for the uh, calculation of current ratio since it is a current asset then prepaid expenses yes prepaid expenses is a current asset so we required this for the calculation purpose then they have given cash in hand cash in hand is a current asset cash at bank is also a current asset and bank balance is also a current asset asset so we require this for the calculation of current ratio so we require the short term investment stock in trade debtors prepaid expenses then cash in hand so then we need to find out the current liabilities under liability side equity share capital it is not a liability because it belongs to shareholders then sundry creditor yes it is a current liability then bills payable it is a current liability bank overdraft is a current liability then outstanding expenses is a current liability all the outstanding and all the prepaid are current items so prepaid expenses whatever the prepaid payment may be given in the problem that will be current asset and whatever the outstanding items given under the liability side that will be current liability so now we need to make a total of current assets so in this problem short term investment stock debtors prepaid expenses and cash are the current assets divided by the current liabilities as per this problem sundry creditor outstanding expenses bills payable and bank overdraft are the current liabilities so first we need to make a total of all the current assets and all the current liabilities so here investment is 16000 stock is 50000 then the 59000 is debtor balance prepaid expenses is 1000 and cash balance is 4000 rupees divided by the current liability that is sundry creditor is 48000 they have given and outstanding expenses is 2000 rupees and 10000 is bills payable balance then 5000 is bank overdraft so if you make a total of current assets it will be equal to 130000 so divided by total current liabilities 65,000 so the current ratio will be 2 is to 1 in the sense 1 lakh 30,000 is to 65,000 so if you cancel it will be 1 and 2 so 2 is to 1 in the sense 2 current assets 1 current liability if company has 1 current liability then uh, the current asset will be 2 times of current liabilities so after calculating current ratio by using the same information we need to calculate quick ratio which is also known as liquid ratio and acid test ratio so here the first we need to find out which are the quick assets and which are the quick liabilities quick assets are those current assets except stock in trade prepaid expenses and bad debts if any so we need to exclude stock balance and prepaid expenses whatever the prepaid expenses may be given in the problem that has to be excluded and if if uh, uh, if 
bad that, is, bad that is given in the problem that also should be excluded so when it comes to quick liabilities these are the current liabilities except bank overdraft we are not supposed to consider bank overdraft while calculating quick liabilities understood quick asset is nothing but all the current assets except stock balance prepaid expenses and bad debts if any and when it comes to quick liabilities these are all the current liabilities except bank overdraft balance so the formula is quick ratio is equal to quick assets divided by quick liabilities so here short term investment we are supposed to consider and debtors we are supposed to consider and cash we are supposed to consider and we are not supposed to consider stock balance and prepaid expenses balance in the same way quick liabilities is equal to sundry creditor outstanding expenses bills payable so we are supposed to exclude bank overdraft while calculating quick liabilities so if you make total of quick assets it will be 79000 and if you make total of quick liabilities it will be equal to 60000 so quick ratio will be 1.32 is to 1 in the sense 79000 divided by 60000 it will be 1.32 and is to 1 60000 is equal to 1 in the sense company has 1.32 times quick assets than quick liabilities so it is the calculation of current ratio and quick ratio. Thank you.